So, here we are, um, doing a review mainly about the Lost Rocket, but, but really a comparison between one of my dear favorites, the Kuro Puzzle, and uh, the LibTech Lost Rocket. And while they're not perfectly similar, you can kind of see in the shape and the overall design. Like, here, we'll hold this one up. Okay, now hold that one up in the same fashion. <coughs> yes. And uh, here, do it again. Bring it on under. Yeah. You can kind of see they have some similarities. And probably if you're looking at this, you might be considering this too. Um, and we got just some short, frantic, manic time on this at the demos. And uh, we, I wanted more time, so Grant owns this and brought it out with me. And uh, we just kind of switched back and forth. We rode the uh, Barracuda today, uh, first half. Kind of did the second half with the Lost Rocket and kept switching back and forth uh, with the Kuro Puzzle. And um, they each have their own strengths and their own weaknesses. I think, for me, I think if you're getting, like we'll just cut to the chase here. I'd say, if we're gonna get one board, like if I was gonna get one board, I would get this, just because of this early rise rocker. Right. Um, but, <laughs> if I was gonna do a two board quiver, I might enjoy this a little more, cause they each, this feels a little heavier, a little more bomby, a little more mean, but it had much easier float, even in, what were you in like, six to eight inches of powder on top of what'd you say like maybe like close to a foot over the last yeah, yeah. so there were some moments where you got <laughs> some powder air, and this just didn't even feel like it was trying in the deeper stuff i did start to feel that nose a little bit but it's nothing like boards like let's say the e-jack knife or something like that so i'd say you know like like we said in the initial review um i thought it would float good for a camber board in powder and it does. Uh, we just got some powder runs, like kind of, kind of ish, powder ish runs. And um, I felt like this floated really well for a camber board. However, I think when it gets really deep, I'd probably want to be on this over this. And do you agree there? 100%. Yeah. Um, but for average conditions, um, you know, depending on what that is, um, I would take this, found it a little bit more forgiving. This is definitely a, more of a bomber, uh, way faster, in yeah. my opinion. Like, getting to, to higher speed is easier on this board. This one wasn't as quick. And this base, you know, you never know with waxing, Yeah. but this base kept its speed <laughs> yeah. uh, much better on the long, flat cat track runs. And I agree with you, I think this is like light, it's more dynamic underfoot and poppy. This requires a little more muscle, a little more aggressiveness. And at the end of the day, when it's getting messy and you have to slow down, I'd probably be happier on this lid. Even though I did feel a little bit of like, I don't know, I call it like, like uneven snow crankiness for my weight. Like it can bomb and it can carve, but it's kind of like sometimes a LibTech uh, trait with the, with the way they design it. Kind of feels a little bit like, a little bit like, you know, kind of like, it has like this reverse chatter, this like slow speed uncomfortableness. Uh, but overall, yeah, I felt this was easier to butter on. It was uh, more poppy. It was more playful. Um, that little bit of extra camber, because this is camber from tip to tail, where this is camber to a little bit, but it's got a healthy bow of camber underfoot. I think they're close. Both are really springy out of the turns. But this is more drivey, more carvey, more bomby, um, more good groomers, where this is more, um, <coughs> you can ride this all day on a It's resort. a playful board. Yeah. It's, it's cool, it's got a great flex. I love the flex. Yeah, let's floor. do a quick, like, like, check this out. Like, this is stiff. And that one's got, like, that one's got some flex to it. Here, yeah. I mean, you flex this one and, Oh yeah, this has got, and I've even got a frozen shoulder that doesn't work that well, and I could easily push this. It's definitely got um, that, you know, that special LibTech trait. And um, so following up on this and powder, it feels kind of just the way we initially thought it would be. And, definitely uh, not bad. Not bad at all, yeah. and I had a super fun time on it. <clears throat> I'd say like, uh, 
as it start, as it gets deeper, I'd probably want to put this away. I'd rather be on this or something that's more like a dedicated powder board. But man, this is a fun. If I had a two board quiver, and all I did was ride directional, um, I would say that, um, which isn't me, but if that's what was me, this would be a fun board to have. And then something like um, the Capita Spring Break Tree Hunter. That one two combo, or the Gentum, or a Gentum Barracuda, yeah. or something like that. You know, that's an expensive one two board quiver, but you know, something like that would be really fun because this is turny, it's um, carvy, it's poppy, it's uh, it's got a real lively feel underfoot, and I really like it. Well, I don't feel like it's a a perfect, like well rounded ride. I do feel like it can float enough, especially if you like riding camber and powder, you're gonna love this. Cause you know what I mean? Um, you're used to a little extra work. You're a little used to keeping your speed, keeping your plane up and you know, this is gonna be better than most camber boards out there. Um, but I just, you know, I noticed an immediate difference when switching to the puzzle. I was like, whoa, that's so much easier. Um, you know, but still super fun board. Can't can't fault you if you wanted it. Uh, like we said before, this is one of our favorite lost shapes of their line. Um, you know the lib lost, and uh, I this this hands down. If I was going to get one lost board, this would probably be the one. And that's what cool. you did, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to add, or no? We I go mean, back and forth a lot. Yeah. Great um, board. I love the graphics too, man. I, I personally, I just love. The lava or whatever Yeah, the lava with the Liberace technology on top <laughs> with the little sparkle, <clears throat> sparkle lava. Yeah. But I love the simplicity of the Karua. And, and and this is just a super fun board. Like, this is a better one board quiver for those directional, kind of setback, kind of surfy riders. But this is a great groomer board. And this has good grip, too, for I how mellow. So. Like, I think it's got a mellow mag or just a straight side cut, but it's got really good grip. And um, the side says straight side cut, but for whatever yeah. reason, it seems to grip a little better than a lot of other. Yeah, it really does. It feels like it's got like the mellowest of mag. Right. Like a point one or point two five instead of a point five or full. Yeah. But something, something about it, I felt it grab in an icy patch, and I was like, oh, thank you. Or this let go a little bit. Right. Um, so there you have it. No, just you know, it kind of like. Sometimes you ride a board and you get stoked on it and you think it's a really good board like we did at the demos and then you get a second time on it and you're like, oh, this is nothing like I thought. Right. And this one is just like the same stoke factor. You know, different <laughs> conditions, different style of different kind of mountain uh, going from copper to bachelor and it's still just super fun. 